My name is Jacob Manson Bird, and I am wearing the finale wedding dress from the most recent collection of Charles Jeffrey Loverboy. Uh, I actually was lucky enough to uh, wear the dress in the show, so I saw it get made and from sort of like design right the way through uh, to the actual day. And um, the first time I saw the dress or saw anything about the dress, I went into Charles's studio and need all these pictures of. Um, Elizabeth I everywhere, the famous one with her and all the pearls and this huge dress and tiny waist. And he said he needed a boy who could be cinched loads. So I was very happy to, to take on that role. And then uh, the dressmaker who made it was a woman called Sybil Rouge. And uh, she was, or she is, this like arrestingly beautiful woman with like long auburn hair and this like 70s like wardrobe. And she used to be a um, couturier for Mugler, and as we were like doing all of the fittings, she would tell me these amazing stories about, you know, Thierry giving her giant bottles of perfume and whatever, and I just felt very glamorous <laughs> of her than making the dress for me. But I, um, but she was, I remember when I walked in the second fitting, she was on the floor trying to bone the crinoline, and she'd been doing it for about six hours, and it's such like heavy uh, metal that she had been, couldn't cut it with her so she had to get it professionally cut, and then she was trying to bone it through, cutting her fingers as she was doing it. So the inside of the dress is all covered in blood, which I also think is quite glamorous in, in a way. And then um, and Charles was making the print at that time, so she had no idea what the print was going to be. And then you know he gave sketches, and he was like, it's going to have a lobster smoking a cigarette and a scorpion and you know stars and squiggles. <laughs> so I was very excited and big, big poofy sleeves. And then um, on the day of the show. Uh, we had all this amazing makeup by Lucy Bridge that was uh, like blue paint and red paint and white and yellow all over my face and up to about there on my, well, <laughs> about there on my forehead. <laughs> and the wig was placed back. I remember just as we were getting into the dress, um, just as the show was starting while I was in the dress, and the back completely popped open because it was pulled so tightly. And uh, so I thought we'd you know, completely fucked it. So I was like stressing out. And Sybil runs in with a needle and thread and like sews me to the dress. And it all goes well to the finale. And then, um, and then annoyingly, we had to take two photos afterwards, one for love and one for his lookbook. And I thought we'd done both of them in one. So I got out the dress, took off my wig and everything, and then I found out I had to get back into it. So I had to re-sew me into that one as well. Um, but yeah, but this is it. And this is my sort of like princess queen fantasy that uh, Charles let me fulfill.